So many of you here, oh my god. To quote one of the best CMs I ever met. All of the best ones are here. <laughs> what do we have here? We have Kostan, we have Grant Parkman, we have Catrax, we have Kuba, we have Bongo, we have Bass from Special Effect. Hello, we have Milson Barn, MSB, we have Pike, we have Lenuch, we have um, we have Pavel, we have Zemek, we have Nakamura, we have Erpino, we have hello everybody. So, what is Special Effect? Special Effect is an is a charity organization who customizes gaming equipment for disabled people. They do absolutely amazing stuff and um, I wanted to support them for a very very long time now, honestly. Bas, who is here, um, who will be telling you more about what they do in more detail and what they are all about and who they helped um, in about an hour or so. Uh, no, in half an hour actually, half five we have Bas scheduled for. So in half an hour Bas will tell you more about um, what they do and how amazing they are. However, um, I just wanted to say that, you know, I've, I wanted to do this for a very long time now. I've met Bas um, at a LaveCon it's like a convention for Elite Dangerous fans. All those of you who play Elite Dangerous will know what I'm talking about. If not, Elite Dangerous is one of the um, oldest game series ever. It came out in 1984 um, as Elite. Um, and Elite Dangerous is the fourth installment in those game series. Uh, it's made by Frontier Development. And um, Alan, Stroud, Alan Stroud, who also will be a guest um, here tonight, uh, albeit from a slightly different perspective, uh, but about that later. So Alan is the man behind LaveCon, um, one of the many people actually behind LaveCon. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing event. Um, I urge you all to Google it and check it out. And I met Buzz at LaveCon, I think it was 2015 or 2016. Now it's been a while and uh, well, Buzz is absolutely amazing. He's a, he's a gemstone of a, of, of, of a person, guys. This, this man, you will see, he's the most sweetest man I've ever met in my life. And he just emanated this, this, this energy, this positive energy that just, you know, it's absolutely amazing how it kind of overcame <laughs> me. And I was like, wow, th these guys do really amazing things. And ever since then, I've really wanted to support them, but mainly with my Elite Dangerous community, which is the Winged Hussars. Um, however, somehow the right opportunity um, have never came up. So I waited, how long? Five or four years for this now. And um, the opportunity has finally, finally arise for me to support this beautiful, amazing organization with something that I hope um, we will all enjoy. All right, guys. So um, now I will play you a little video about special effect, so you can all find out what is what it's all about. Oh my God! How much have we, we have already? Two hundred and seventeen pounds. Oh my God! This is this is how do you even? Thank you so much. <laughs> I've not been expecting this, you know. I've said 500 pounds as a um, as a goal. Hopefully, when I reach it at some point. But oh my god, I've been not expecting this. But anyway, um, everybody, special effect. Nobody likes being left out. That's why special effect are helping people with physical disabilities to play video games. But this isn't just about having fun. The gaming setups we create are personalized, so people can play to the very best of their abilities. And that opens the door to inclusion and independence, confidence and creativity. Help us level the playing field and create more magical gaming moments. Because it's everyone's turn to play. <laughs> Absolutely 
No problem at all, Shrek. Well, let's start off with special effects. So special effects are a charity dedicated to enhancing the lives of people with disabilities. Um, and we do that by modifying, uh, adapting and creating hardware and software. So we're all about technological solutions to just to make life better for people with disabilities. Um, we are based in the United Kingdom, but the, our reach is actually global. I mean, I, I will, I'll go on and talk, talk more about the global stuff. So um, the charity was started in 2007 by my friend and now boss, Dr. Mick Monaghan, who is um, the way you were describing me at the start is the way I, I would describe Mick. I mean, he just radiates the, the passion for what he does. Um, and I got to know Mick weirdly through playing football. <laughs> And we, we became friends. Um, Nick's background was in um, assistive technology and education. So he worked for a local charity that helped uh, young people um, with their educational needs through assistive technology. And more and more, as the gaming developed back in the sort of the, the early to mid 90s, more and more parents came to him and said, What you're doing is absolutely fantastic, Nick. You're seeing to all of uh, our, our child's educational needs, but what about outside? He's got brothers or sisters who um, are able to play with their friends, but he's sat there and he's got nothing to do other than sit and listen to the radio or watch the TV. So Mick was going to his bosses, and it was at a time when the, the UK government was making a lot of cuts in that area. They said, yeah, it's a great idea, Mick doing the gaming would be fantastic but we just can't we haven't got the funds to do it in the end mick decided he was just going to go out on his own he took a massive chance and set special effects up and um we've just grown in terms of the, the support that we get from um obviously the, the the world of gaming both the gaming communities like yourself and the games industry also we get a lot of uh, local corporate support as well so um it's just sort of grown from there, really. Um, and now we work on a face-to-face -face basis in the United Kingdom. So under normal circumstances, we have a team of occupational therapists and technology specialists that will go out and visit people at their own homes. They'll drive out up and down the country, far north is Inverness, as far south as the Channel Islands. We'll actually work with them and their care team to get a setup so they're these people will analyze the movement of the, the person in question and will provide hardware or software to, to enable them to play comfortably and, and for longer periods of time. So obviously, since the COVID crisis, we've had to change the way we've worked a little in, in that way by, by the fact that we now do assessments by video for. And that's working. I mean, it's not totally ideal, um, but it's it's working. Where the, the the requests for our service, as you'd imagine, under lockdown conditions, has actually grown. If anything, uh, yeah, so I can imagine in these difficult times. The call needs to work actually more labour intensive. So the travelling bit of it's gone, but the the it's a more labour intensive process because we have to do a preliminary call and then the actual setup call and then go back and uh, do another call to make sure that everything's um, working as it should be and just do any any small tweaks um, so that, that was always mixed dream was to work on a face-to-face -face basis in the uk but what the the ultimate vision and the vision that has come to fruition over the last three or four years in particular is having a worldwide impact on people with disabilities absolutely across the globe um, and the big part of that has been our research and development team um, these guys I mean, you, no doubt you've all seen the, 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 the videos and you'll be showing videos through the stream Shamek. yes mm -hmm. yeah so um, so during the breaks and during sort of like a little prep for the next segment I'll be showing those videos to you guys the interviews with um, with all the other people or uh, with all the people that um, that um, special effect have the videos on on their YouTube channel and you will see guys this this the stories from these people are absolutely um, heartwarming even you know with all the disability obviously um, as I don't I don't want to say they it's hard to say for me because like they're not I don't want to say they're happy stories because obviously you know disability is never 
a happy story somebody getting being dis 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 disabled but the help and the support they get from you guys this is this is what's beautiful and this is what always sort of grabbed me um and you can feel the joy in these guys voices when they talk about it you know when you see their faces when they're smiling when they're laughing when they finally can play those you know their favorite game it's just oh my god this is so heartwarming um and you must told me also that you know that you've helped somebody from from Shipley, from a local town here last year and i didn't even know um, because i moved i moved into this this town only about a year ago um or in a half now actually and um bus sent me this beautiful um t-shirt I'm, I'm streaming in today um which i hope would be better visible <laughs> but it's not uh but anyway and then basta my addressing was like oh if i knew mate that you live in shipley we would just help somebody from shipley so we tried to contact this person but we we didn't manage to unfortunately and i was really hoping for was it mark i think it was mark um to come on stream and talk a little bit about that as well um live unfortunately that that, that couldn't be arranged um so Oh, sorry, Bas. I just, sorry, Bas. I, I just realized I'm I muted you when I muted my microphone before. Oh my God, sorry, guys. You have to you have to forgive me this little. After I'm doing this for the first time, things like that. So um, <laughs> you have to forgive my little things that I that I do. I I muted you, Bas. Unfortunately, <laughs> for for a couple of for I think what, about a minute or so. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> where, where where do people hear up to, Shemek? Um I think when you were talking about um, um, the, uh, it wasn't about a minute ago. Just just before I right. I jumped in and start to talk about um, about the videos. When you said about the, oh, what, okay. I'll be playing the videos. That's when I muted, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. So um, later this year, we'll have um, uh, something come out of beta. We, we've been developing it for about three years, called I Gaze Games. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's a, a web-based um, facility that is free to use. Um, you can use it, obviously, because it's web-based, you can use it anywhere in the world. Um, and it's a suite of games. Uh, to begin with, slow reaction games like uh, chess, um, four in a row, um, and, and checkers, games like that. You can log on and play a game of chess from here in West Oxfordshire in the United Kingdom. I could play a game against a, I don't know, the, somebody with a, a spinal injury in Caracas in Venezuela oh, using wow. eye control alone. And the, it's, when, it, when we release it, um, and it, like I say, it won't, won't be long now, it will be later this year when it's released, we think it will revolutionise gaming for people with disabilities. Um, it will just open up a whole new area um, of enjoyment for them, and like I say, I mean, it, the the impact on the, the worldwide gamers will be fantastic. And, and that, like I said before, that's always been Dr. Mick's vision. Is what we what we do on a face to face basis here in the United Kingdom. We actually, put into practice, and we benefit people all over the world um, with what we learn here. So uh, we're really really excited about that. Um, and obviously, that's made possible by support like your live stream here Shemek. I mean if, if we didn't have people like you supporting us we wouldn't be able to do any of these things so before I go a massive massive thank you to all of your viewers and to anybody who is um, supporting us whether that's financially or just through cheerleading us um, it's all fantastic and it's, it's just great to be on here just to be able to say thank you and explain a little bit more about our work Beautiful. Um, that that star. star I'm being uh, I... for a moment, Schmidt. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just being quiet for a moment. All right. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. I was going to say this. This this eye gaze system is absolutely amazing. Um, there is a video about this guy who was doing a PhD, and he got bike accident, and I, I believe he's using that to play chess uh, with somebody, isn't he? It, I think that's one of the videos um, I've seen. Yeah. We've... We, we, we've got a couple of the, the videos uh, on, our, well, we, we've got several I gaze videos. I mean, I think the one that you're uh, talking about is, is it the young lad with red hair, Rob, Rob the Camp? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's quite a young bloke Rob, who had a bike, bicycle accident and then he's been Rob's paralyzed. Rob's actually a, a, a car accident, Shemek. Rob's, oh, okay. um, Steve, the old, older chap, was a bicycle accident. Oh, so um, Rob, uh, Rob was due to start... Um, 
doing a, a master degree in at York University uh, a few years ago. Went on a gap mm-hmm. gap year, and about I think shortly after we got back from his travels on the gap year, um, that was down the local rugby club on a on a Saturday afternoon. Accepted a lift off somebody, and then there was a car accident, and Rob wow. suffered a high spinal injury as a result of it. Um, and we helped Rob pretty much from the word go. Um, and like his dad will explain in the video, um, we've helped Rob to a degree now where he's gone on to Bristol University um, down in the west west of England, and he's actually got a first in his degree um, using wow. eye control and uh, something called Dragon Speak. So um, he has done absolutely brilliantly, and he is I think he's now studying to be a lawyer. So. Um, Steve, the other chap you were talking about, um, is one of those cases where um, it was a freak accident. So Steve was a really keen cyclist and a gamer as well. He, he liked his sort of like Call of Duty first-person shooters. Um, and Steve went to open a gate um, and toppled off his bike and sustained a high spinal injury as a result. Wow. Okay. Um, and again, we've, we've worked with Steve for a, for a good while now. Um, and Obviously, you'll, you'll probably show his video later, but he's, he's back gaming, he can talk to people, uh, he can do emails and surf the internet by eye con- uh, just eye gaze alone. So, um, a massive, massive difference to, to those people's lives. Beautiful. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, shit. This is always... Do you want me to carry on, Shavik? No, sorry, Bas. Um, my my <laughs> Discord is playing again. <laughs> I've been I'm testing sorry. this. I've been testing this. You know, I've been testing this before the stream and it worked. <laughs> but it's always, you know, the main sort of um, thing for my stream is the stream without something going wrong is a stream lost. So there's so <laughs> always something goes wrong on my streams, unfortunately. <laughs> or fortunately. I'm just trying to pause just to give you a chance to ask yeah. some questions as yeah, well. Yeah, no worries. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I think the last thing I wanted to ask you about um, also is, I'm not sure how familiar you are with this, but some years ago, um, one of my friends, Pike, who actually is in the chat there, I've seen him in the in the, in the chat, he mentioned um, that there is a Polish organization quite similar to you guys, and they do similar stuff to you, but they sort of reached a dead end. They didn't quite know how to, how to proceed, how to expand anymore. Um, and Pike asked me if I can get in touch with you and sort of exchange contact information. So they would come to you and they would ask about how can they progress and how they can develop further. Um, are you familiar with that at all? Because I don't know if it even went through you or... Um, I, no, it, it didn't go through me, Shemek, but yes, please do put, put them in touch. Um, I mean, get ask often like i mean sentence. i mean no i think i think i think that's already happened i think i think that was like two years ago or so um but i i, 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 I wasn't sure what they what you were familiar with the situation at all or not oh no, well, um, i'm not sorry Schmeck. okay I, that's I, okay I, fair I, enough but have probably gone through either dr nick himself or mm-hmm. our research and development team so um yeah i mean if it's stored at all please do pass on pass on my details and, and link us up that's not a problem sure, at all we'll Mm-hmm. I just wanted to say, but so, because um, I think I'm going to wrap up a little bit now, um, just so I can plug in all of my controllers for because the next thing will be Elite Dangerous with um, Paul and Arf. Um, so I just want to okay. prepare a little bit for that as well. So just before we ra- wrap yeah. up, uh, maybe I'll play some of those videos again for the next 10, 10 minutes so we can have a little bit of um, insight into some of the people that you've helped already. Um, but I just wanted to say that for me, I think I didn't even know, I wasn't aware that you guys sent like a team of of professionals to assess the situation. I thought this was sort of like, well, I knew I knew you customize things specifically for a given person and a given case, but I wasn't aware that you actually have like behavioralists and you know people like that who would go and like you know do it from more how should I put it like a scientific even point of view, if you know what I mean. Oh, absolutely, Shemek. I mean, it's one of one of the things that I always say is I, I've got the best job in the world. It's uh, I, I, my job is to tell the stories of people that are far more talented than myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work with some really, really talented people, um, and then that's what Doctor Mick is sort of creating a special effect in terms of um, making sure that pe- people with disabilities do get the best service possible from us. Is a, a team of. Um, absolute specialists uh they know their they know their jobs inside out they know gaming they know their their hardware and software 
um, and it's a, a centre of excellence, uh, basically. Um, and like I said at the start, I mean, it's a centre of excellence that starts in the UK, but um, impacts on the lives of disabled people all over the world and will continue to do so even more in the years to come. Um, and like I said, we can only do that because of support uh, through live streams like this one. So thank you again, Shemek, and thank you to all of your viewers. It's, um, uh, we just couldn't do it without you. I mean, that, that's not an understatement at all. We just couldn't do it without you. Not to worry. And from me as well, you know, it's anybody who will donate t t tonight, or uh, today and, t and tomorrow. Thanks from the bottom of, of my heart. Bas, thank you very much for being here. You are an amazing person. Thank you for <laughs> gracing us with your presence. <laughs> and oh, thank spreading, you, Shemek. You're, you're a top fella. You're a top fella. Spreading all the positiveness. Um, thanks, Bas. <laughs> At some point, Shmet, we'll meet up in uh, Elite Dangerous. I play in the Hutton Private Group, but uh, we'll, we'll uh -huh. meet up at some point and we'll have a sooner or later. Suckers and big winged stars meet up. Definitely, sooner or later. For the mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the mug. <laughs> Thanks, Shmet. Really good of you. Thanks, Bas. Thank you. Okay, guys, that was Bas from Special Effects.